Hi everyone, so th on this week's episode I want to talk about whether we're ever going to get to that sub £20,000 electric car. So there's been chatter and talk over the last couple of years of whether electric cars are too expensive and you know for in, in some cases and for a, a lot of people still they are. Um, the entry point is expensive in some cases. Um, but the cost of running and obviously the long term make up for that and that's what you gain back. But will we ever actually see manufacturers get to the point where where we see now, where we see you kind of everyday person being able to afford a um, £20,000 or less car. Once you hit that price point, things start to become mass market and mass adoption. Now, VW have already said that they're looking at a lower price point model in their ID range, um, which would be sub 20, 22,000 pounds. That's not probably due for another couple of years at least. And um, Tesla themselves have always mentioned that they'll get to the point where they'll be able to produce a sub 25,000 dollar Tesla. And this all comes down to manufacturing, user adoption, and how they do it. So if you take the Tesla model, they started off with the uh, the Model S and then the Model X, both very expensive cars, but that actually funded the research and the manufacturing to be able to get to the Model 3, which while still is not in that price bracket, it's significantly cheaper than both the Model S and the Model X. So I've got no doubt that they will, at some point, you know, it may take several years, but they will get to at least that $25,000 car. And that will come with, again, like I said, user adoption, mass production, mass adoption. Um, when, when they do that, that's when it becomes very interesting and the market becomes very interesting. So if you think of, uh, you know, likes of Vauxhall, Ford, um, uh, Nissan, some of the manufacturers that have been going for some time, they always had a, a, a car which generally has been in that price range. It may not be like, you know, the best spec and things like that, and it may be just like a, almost like a run around or a city car, but they always had that. And car manufacturers definitely need to get there with electric cars. So, and that will definitely happen. And um, that's when you take electric cars, which are already uh, past that tipping point, in my opinion, to that, that complete change in terms of what we drive and how we drive. That will also lead to um, infrastructure changes and things like that because more people will be driving them. Um, when you hit that 20,000 or 20,000 and less um, price, it, there's a fine line as well between build quality and uh, you know a, a kind of a, a good car and, and, and how, how good it is. I would say even if that spec becomes a hundred miles range spec, to 60 doesn't have to be massive and um, you know it needs to be a very small family car perhaps. When you get to that, everyday families can afford it, electric car sales will just jump through the roof because those people that have been holding off or waiting or looking to get a new car will be looking around again well actually that's that's either cheaper or no different to what I did pay before and it's cheap on either monthly payments or an outright purchase and it, it, it needs to happen I think and I think it definitely will happen I think it will take several years it may take five years but I think a lot of the manufacturers that are starting now are already thinking about it I think the ones that have been going for some time have definitely uh, reached that point quicker and I think the new ones coming in will have to think about that longer term is that you can't just have this 30, 40, 50,000 pound electric car all up. Um, you have to cater for everyday people. Everyday people cannot afford a 40,000 pound car. I'm sorry, they just can't. Um, and I know that because, you know, I'm, I'm lucky in my case. My car whilst was 22, 23,000. I get a car allowance, so that's how I'm able to afford that. But most people aren't that lucky. Most people have to have loans and, and various other things. So 
we need to cater for those if we're really going to get that mass adoption going for electric cars. And it will, like I said, it will definitely happen. It's just a matter of time. When the manufacturing ramps up, the likes of VW especially, they've got the plants there and they're not really using them, they're facing to build diesel cars. They'll get to the point where they'll be able to mass produce these and lower the manufacturing costs. And let's just hope that between that and reducing battery costs, that that actually happens because that can only be a great thing for EV adoption and electric car take ups. Um, and when that happens, things will dramatically change across the across the country and, and, and across uh, various other countries. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'd, again, I'd always like to hear your comments and feedback. Uh, did you find this interesting? If you did, great. If you didn't, why didn't you? Um, let's have a chat about what you think about this sub £20,000 car. Do you think we're actually ever getting there? Okay, so until next time, take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.